Secretary of State Blinken, he urged not what he wasn't in Secretary of State at the time, he was an advisor to the Biden campaign. He urged intelligence officials to write a letter just dismissing the Hunter Biden laptop story, called it Russian disinformation. Nonsense. Congressman Lance Gooden is on the House Judiciary Committee and he joins me now. I've called this letter a dirty trick. You agree with that? Of course, I agree. Uh, but are we surprised? I mean, this is par for the course for this administration, what we've seen. The information that we now know today um, is information that would have gotten you and me banned from Twitter had we posted it during the last campaign. Has he said anything about this uh, development over the weekend, Anthony Blinken? Uh, to my knowledge, uh, he has not. I'm sure he'll uh, downplay it, dismiss it, uh, and, and hope it goes away. That's what we've seen from administration officials as these things trickle out. But what Democrats are realizing is that this is the Achilles heel of the Biden campaign in 2024, and this is an issue that's not going away. And with good people like the brave whistleblower and I suspect others that will be coming forward in the days and weeks and months to come, this story is, is one that the American people want us to get to the bottom of. Um, what do you make of the uh, Susan Rice, who was President Biden's domestic policy advisor? She's now out at the White House. I mean, I'm not sure whether she's resigned or just she, she wants to leave, but she's out right before the 2024 announcement. What do you make of that? I mean, they're obviously shuffling things up. I think there's at least one or two people there with a brain that realize things are not going well. They're going to have to uh, address the border situation. The American people are fed up with what they're seeing. You're seeing Democratic members of Congress take trips to the border. Remember, they didn't even think we had a problem at the border six months and a year ago. And now they're realizing they're going to start have to talking about, having to talk about things that the American people are worried about. I suspect this uh, shuffle is uh, just one of many shuffles to come as we head into campaign season. Uh, you had a meeting with Florida Governor DeSantis. And after that meeting, you endorsed Donald Trump for 2024. Why Trump? Well, Donald Trump is, is the proven leader that we need in this country. Donald Trump got it done when he was in office. I believe that we need someone, critically need someone, with executive experience. This is not the time uh, to have someone learning on the job. And Donald Trump has the operation in place not only to win the election, uh, but to execute from day one after he's inaugurated. I believe that Donald Trump is the future of this nation. I believe that he will take us uh, to the promised land. He has shown that he's the leader of our party for quite some time. And what we're seeing from some of these other presidential candidates, I think, um, is a good effort, but I just don't believe it's their time. I think the time is Donald Trump's, and I believe he will win this nomination, and we need good. him more than ever. That was a ringing endorsement. Lance Gooden, Republican, thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. And we'll see you Thank again you. soon. Yes, sir. Thank you.